matter. Let your presence, let your presence, let your presence, let your presence. Makata yakata, Isu zaza gaziata, Ampara gadaba, Ishoko parada. You promise us your presence. You promise us the another comforter. You promise us the Allos Paracletos, who is expedient, which is expedient for us, uh, that it comes from to us. Uh, Lord, we pray uh, that the presence that gives us advantage uh, over the enemy, the presence of the Lord, uh, that gives us advantage uh, of the forces of darkness, uh, the presence of the Lord. Lord, that embodied us, that take it away our cowardice. We pray for that presence, that that presence of the Lord in the midst of us, that is mighty. We pray this evening that that presence should come in the midst of the people of the Lord. Pray and tell the Lord your presence that will make this us, your presence that surround us and perform miracles. We pray for that presence. We pray for that presence. We pray for that presence as in the days of the apostles that you rain the presence on them as the clothing tanks of fire. Father, we pray today that let the presence be a fire and lighten this place. Let it be a fire and set us ablaze. Let it be on a fire. Yes, Lord, this evening, the fire of the Lord. Let the spirit of the Lord fuel us all. Lord, fuel this place and set this place on fire. Let us be fire. This civil Lord, as we fast and pray, Lord, let the fire of the Lord consume us up. Let the fire of the Lord, a psycho brother, and be copara, is a coparite. The fire of the Lord consume, consume us this evening, consume us tonight. The fire of the Lord. Lord, tell yourself, I will be on fire. I will be on fire. It is your time. It is your moment. Lift up your voice and tell the Lord, this evening I want to be on fire. This evening I want to be on fire. I want to be on fire for you. We want this place to be on fire. Set the place on fire, Lord. Let the ambience of the place, let the atmosphere of this place be an atmosphere of fire. Let it be. Lord, tonight, a place on fire. Aziko Zaizata, tell the Lord this evening, fire of the Lord, the power of the Lord, shall envelop this place, shall fill this place. Aziko Sitaba, Abi Barada, Abi Barada, as in the day of the upper room, as they fasted and wait on the Lord. The Bible said, according to Acts chapter number two, from the verse number two to four, that the presence of the Lord came down in the upper room and filled the place up. Tonight is our night. As we fasted, as we pray, tell the Lord, Lord, tonight, let your fire, let your fire, let your fire, let your fire. Akushaka barada, impaka dubarada, izoko barada biata, yes, Lord. Makatabara, Izo Kuzaile, Antiko Saparada, Ishoko Parada, as you've prayed for the presence, tell the Lord, Azusa Dabara, tonight, Lord, I myself, I want to be on fire. Me, myself, I want to pray as a man on fire, as a woman on fire. Lord, let the fire of your spirit that change soul into a new man when he was a Anointed uh, tonight, Lord, uh, I want to be on fire. Uh, yet, Lord, uh, that the multiple manifestations uh, of the various graces, uh, the charisma uh, will be manifest. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, as in the days uh, of the apostles, uh, Lord, let me be on fire. As I parada, uh, let my worst tonight, uh, Lord, oh Kaparada, uh, enter into the corridors of heaven. Uh, let my worst tonight. Uh, 
be, oh Lord, uh, as a weapon. Uh, let my voice uh, go into the realms uh, of the spirit uh, tonight uh, as a weapon, uh, as the axe of the Lord. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, open your mouth and tell the Lord uh, that tonight uh, may your prayer, may our prayer go, oh Lord, uh, into the realms uh, and command things. Uh, for the Bible says uh, in the book of Jeremiah 51, uh, from the verse number 20, uh, he said, Thou act my battle axe uh, and my weapon of war. Uh, tonight, tell the Lord, uh, oh Lord, tonight, uh, use us as a weapon of war. Uh, oh Lord, tonight, uh, let that be your battle axe uh, and break in pieces the nations. Uh, in your moment, uh, in your moment of fasting, uh, tell the Lord, uh, Lord, tonight, uh, let my voice uh, echo in the heavens. Uh, let my voice uh, echo in the heavens. Uh, let my voice, uh, oh, Makata Barada, uh, let the angels uh, tonight minister on my behalf. Uh, Azuka Barada, uh, Isako, uh, Iparada, uh, Ozika Para, uh, Azus the Diataka, uh, Ambiko Parada, uh, Isoko Parada, uh, tell the Lord, uh, Ambiko Parada. Uh, as you lift your voice, uh, Ambi Kapara, uh, Ilaku Seta Bara, uh, you should make things, uh, Ali Koparada, uh, that you have been waiting for. Uh, as you lift your voice, uh, may it come to pass. Uh, open your mouth and tell. Lord, uh, that tonight uh, as you lift your voice, uh, every doors that are closed, uh, may they be open unto you. Aziko uh, Parada, Isoparandi, Amparadaba, as you are going to enter uh, into an atmosphere of prayer. Iyako uh, Paradaba, may your voice never be hindered. Uh, may your voice, Ayako uh, Parada, heard by Imparadaba, uh, by the angels of the Lord. Uh, on the paradaba, may he echo in the heavens. Ayoko parita, ambabo pari, in paradaka, yo pariko parada, in be parada, iso kaparia taila, amperada paradala, in parakota parada, in pereda paradia kopa, in perida para, in bako paria daba, andiko parada, in perika paro, ayam beria kataba. In Barako Parita Bara, in Bako Perada. We are praying. We are still telling the Lord whenever we come before the presence of the Lord, there are things that hinder or there are things that does not does not allow us to experience the blessings of the Lord. And some of the of these things, our Father has been talking to us about it. The unforgiveness does not allow God to hear our prayer. Our Father has been telling anger, bitterness are some of the things that, that does not allow God to answer our prayer or does not even allow us to come before the presence of the Lord. You are praying and you are telling the Lord this evening, the Lord, anything that may hinder me, hinder me, anything that may cause me not to experience the miracle, every bitterness in me, every unforgiveness, every unforgiving heart, that is me, Lord, tonight, that's in us, Lord, tonight, we want to have access to the true room, we want to come bodily, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 from the verse number 16 he said let us therefore come boldly into the throne room of grace uh, that we may obtain mercy and grace to help us in time of need uh, let us therefore tonight you are telling the Lord uh, the Lord I want to come uh, Lord I want to come uh, to the throne room of grace uh, without any spot uh, without any weaknesses uh, without any hindrance uh, Father I want to come uh, I want to experience your miracle uh, anything that I have done, the Lord is an unforgiving heart. It's a sin that hints me. Father, tonight, Azuka Paradayata, in Paradosike Para, in Paradavia Cosa Tyler, in Paradaiko Paridaba, in Zoka Paradabaila, in Zekarako Tabara, in Sakabua Daila Kata, for your west side. Yes, Lord, according to Isaiah 58, that from the verse number 8, that you said this is the first you set uh, the Lord will forgive uh, we will 
speak the needy yako separata pa yanda barata bosa and you said our lives are break for as the morning akuza barata ba and our health shall speak for speedily according the barata from the verse number 6 you said this is the first you have said the lord we will forgive the lord we will come before your presence aliko parada ba that you've chosen the lord we will lose the the weak, the wicked ones uh, our heart will all oh be losing the lord tonight we pray uh, any hardened heart uh, that is in us uh, that prevent us all oh lord from moving forward uh, in the name of the lord jesus uh, we are still praying telling the lord uh, that tonight oh lord uh, as your word says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 uh, from the verse number 19 uh, that in that day paul said uh, Pray for me uh, that the spirit, uh, the spirit of boldness may be given unto me, uh, the utterance be given unto me, uh, that I may open my mouth boldly uh, to know the mysteries of the gospel. Uh, let us pray, telling the Lord, uh, bringing our man of God, uh, bringing our father before the Lord, uh, that the Lord that opened the doors of utterance, uh, the Lord that giveth utterance unto his people, uh, the Lord that giveth utterance unto his servant, uh, tonight may you give utterance uh, uh, to our Father uh, as He lead us in prayer, uh, as He lead us in the time of prayer. Uh, utterance is Lord, uh, a young Keparadaba, uh, heavenly utterance is Lord, uh, and the Koparita Bara, uh, a young Teberadaba, uh, and the spirit of boldness, uh, uh, only Kaparada, uh, to speak be given unto Him. Uh, a year Kaparada, uh, that tonight uh, He will open His mouth uh, with boldness. Uh, Aliko Barada that he will not be dismayed. A young but he will speak with boldness. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, the Lord tonight. A young the door of utterance, the door of utterance, the door of utterance. A young Kuparia Taila, am Pabuke Parada, in Te Barada Bia Taila, in Parada Baya, in Parado Parada, in Peredia Copa, I in the Barada Bar. In Kozaila, that tonight, according to First Peter 4 11, he will speak as the oracle of the Lord, he will minister unto us as the oracle of the Lord. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, he said, If any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of the Lord. Tonight, you are praying and telling the Lord, the Lord tonight, as our Father stands here to lead us in prayer, use as him as an oracle of the Lord and give him the ability yes Lord to speak the mysteries open your mouth and tell the Lord yes Lord as your oracle I am perikapa in the copariata I am coparada baila in paradaila kata in boca barada in perida paradaila I am pedibarakatala Open your mouth and tell the Lord uh, the Lord use him uh, tonight than ever before. The Bible says uh, in the book of Psalm 89 uh, from the verse number 20, he said, I have found David my servant uh, and with my holy oil have I anointed him. Uh, open your mouth and tell the Lord uh, the Lord anoint our father uh, with your holy oil uh, this evening. Uh, uh, Jacob Parada, uh, from the verse number 21, uh, he said with my right hand will I uphold him. Tabarata. He said with my right hand I will establish him and my arm also shall strengthen him. Tell the Lord tonight the strength to speak. Lord give him the strength. Establish his words tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aluko Parita Ba, tell the Lord, uh, the Lord establish his west tonight, uh, and let not the son of, of, of wickedness uh, afflict him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ayako Parada Via Taila, in Paracosite Bara, in Paradabo In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. We are still praying. This is our 
period of fasting and prayer, we are grateful to our father, Bishop Dr. Jonathan Ekuban, and our mommy, Lady Reverend Lillian Ekuban, for allowing them, for the Spirit of God to use them to set up this time of prayer for us. It's a time wherever you are, you are joining us. We are grateful unto you and unto the Lord, and we pray that we'll have a fantastic time in His presence. We are still praying. We're just going to look at um, Daniel chapter number, number 1, verse number 4. When you look at Daniel chapter 1, verse number 4, um, King Nebuchadnezzar said he, he wanted young men without blemish, young men with wisdom, young men who were skillful. Listen, even the enemy wants the best. How much more us? We are praying for the spirit of wisdom as we are starting this fast. We are praying for the spirit of skill. We don't want to be just anybody in the, in, the, in the house of the Lord. We want to be people of skill. We want to be people of wisdom. Because even if the enemy wants that, how much more God in his own who created us. Shall we lift up our voice and pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray tonight. We pray tonight. That the spirit of wisdom. That the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of skill. The spirit of skill. The spirit of knowledge. The spirit of knowledge. Will be our portion. Will be our portion. And will not just be our portion. It will not just be our portion. But we will apply it in our but church. But we will apply it in our church. We will apply it in our departments. We will apply it in our departments. We will apply it in our lives. We will apply it in our lives. And we will apply it in our marriages. We will apply it in our marriages. But we lift up our voice and pray, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. We pray, O oh Lord our God, we ask that your cause, you cause us to have the spirit of wisdom. Lord, we pray for the spirit of wisdom. We pray for the spirit of skill. We pray for the spirit of knowledge. We pray for the spirit of understanding. That will be people without blemish. We will be people with skill. We will be skillful people in your church. We will be skillful people in your kingdom. We will be skillful people in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus, O God. As we fast and pray, we pray that your spirit of wisdom would empower us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. As, as Solomon prayed for wisdom, we are also praying for wisdom in the name of Jesus, Lord. Without wisdom, we, would, we can't do anything. We can't do much in your kingdom. We pray for the spirit of wisdom. We pray for for skill in the name of Jesus, Lord. Empower us with your skill. Empower us with your wisdom. Empower us with knowledge. Empower us with knowledge in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, empower us, Lord. Lord, we pray for wisdom. Lord, we pray for wisdom. We'll be people of skill in the name of Jesus. Lord, endowed with wisdom, endowed with knowledge, understanding, and skill, Lord, that we will not be just mere people in the church, but we'll be people of skill and we'll apply our skill in, a, in the kingdom. Of God in the name of Jesus, Lord. Ranta da da papa ya da pa. Yeman da da brosi de andere de be. Rapa tuni me andere de pa. Pa ye papa ya da pa. Pa ye papa ya da pa. Ye ranta da da be. Yeman da da brosi de andere de pa. Ye ranta ya da papa ya da pa. Ye ranta da da si te amose andere de be. Ranta ya da papa ya da pa. Ye ranta da da si te amose andere de be. Ranta ya da pa. Ye ranta da 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 be kapa tu ni mi andere de pa ye ran da 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 bo zebre andere de be in the name of Jesus, Ranta yada papa yada pa. Ye man tona mi andere de be. Rapa tona mi andere de pa. We pray for the spirit of wisdom. We pray for the spirit of knowledge. We pray for the spirit of skill. In the name of Jesus, Lord, Ranta yada pa. Ye man da da bro zide andere de be. Ranta yada papa yada pa. Ye ran da 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 bro zibre andere de be. Rapa tona mi andere de pa. Ye ran da 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 site ambo se andere de be. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In Isaiah 58 verse 6, the scripture says that, Is this not the fast that I have chosen, to loosen bands of wickedness, 
to undo the heavy burden, to let oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke. We are praying for the oil of, of God, the oil that breaks yokes, such that as we are praying, as this period has been declared for our fast and prayer, our fasting and prayer, we are praying that the oil of God will come upon us, the oil that breaks yokes, the oil that lifts up burdens. May every burden on any of us be lifted. Shall we pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please lift up your right hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every burden. Every burden. Every yoke. Every yoke. Upon our lives. Upon our lives. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. According to the anointing oil. According to the anointing according oil. According to the power in the anointing to oil. The power in the anointing oil. We are praying that this day. We are praying that this day. Has been declared as a day of fast and prayer. As we declare as a day and of the fast Lord and prayer. Says, and the Lord says. Is this not the, uh, uh, the fast that has been declared. The Lord, the Lord says, "Is it not the first I've been declared to break yokes, to break yokes, and to lift our burdens? And to lift our Therefore, every burden upon our lives, For every burden upon our lives, be lifted. Be lifted. Every yoke upon our lives every be broken. Upon our life be broken. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. we lift up our voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, tonight we pray that every burden, every yoke be lifted and be broken up our necks and our shoulders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, O oh God, you are God." Organize this fast and prayer for us, O oh God, as we participate in this fasting and prayer. Let burdens be broken. Let burdens be lifted up. Let yokes be broken. In the name of Jesus, anything, O oh God, that is entangled us, be broken in the name of Jesus. Let chains break, O oh God. When the people prayed, when the people prayed, Peter was set free. When prayer wasn't said, James was killed. But when the church lifted us prayer, Peter was set free. The chains was broken. The gates were open. We are praying right now that as the spirit of fasting and prayer has been declared, let chains be broken, let yokes be broken, let burdens be lifted up in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let bonds be loose, let bonds be made loose, every bond be made loose in your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every burden, let it be lifted up right now in the name of Jesus. Let bones be loose. Let bones be loose in the name of Jesus. According to the word, he says, Whatever we burn on earth is burned in heaven. And whatever we lose in earth, we lose in heaven. In the name of Jesus, losing the many bounds. Anything that is holding you bound, anything that is a limitation, anything that is a hindrance to your progress, let it be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Break it right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, according to the power and the anointing oil, that every yoke shall be broken, and every burden will be lifted up, and every bonds will be made loose. Let the bonds be made loose. Every bond, every shackle, anything that is a chain, anything that is holding you back, anything that is limiting your life, let it be broken right now. Let it be broken right now. This is the reason for this fast. That's the reason for the fast. Any burden, any limitation on your finances, limitation on your marriage, limitation on the children, limitation on your ministry, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Any form of hindrance, anything hindering you, hindering your progress, that when you make one step forward and you come back step one, two steps backwards, we come against every limitation, we come against every limitation. We break every yoke. We break every yoke. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ranta Yarapa. You run the Rabo. Rapa Tonimi under the repair. Raya Papa Yarapa. You run the Rabe. Rapa Tonimi under the repair. Rapa Yarapa. You run the Rasite Amosi under the bay. Break the yokes. Break the chains. Set yourself free. Set yourself loose. Set us up loose right now. When prayer was lifted, the chains on Peter's legs were broken. When prayer was lifted, the doors, the gates were open. It doesn't matter the number of soldiers that were guarding the gates. All the 
the soldiers. They couldn't stop. They couldn't stop. They couldn't stop. One day at the power because of prayer. Then they had a bay. Repent to the proceeding under the power. By a papaya the power. By a papaya the power. And that are a city of Mose under the bay. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. We're still praying with Isaiah 45, verse 3. Isaiah 45, verse 3. It says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that you may know that I, the Lord, who called you by your name, I am God of Israel. We are praying that as we join in our, in our time of prayer and fasting, may the Lord open unto us the hidden treasures of the Gentiles. Amen. May treasures of darkness and hidden riches in secret places be made, be given unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we lift up our right hand and say, Father, tonight we pray. Tonight we pray. That the treasures of darkness and secret places be made unto us. That the treasures of darkness and secret places be made unto the us. The hidden treasures of the Gentiles be the, given the unto hidden us. Gentiles, the hidden of of the Shall we lift up our voice and pray? You Lord can't Jesus possess the hidden treasures by Lord just being Lord idle. Lord. It is only through prayer that we can possess. It is only through prayer. The scripture says nobody goes into the strong man's house to take anything there. Unless you bind the strong man, you cannot take what is yours. Lift up your voice and pray. Find every strong man and take what is yours and take the hidden treasures of the Gentiles, Rantayara Papa Yarapa, Yamanda Rabro Sibre under the bay, Rapatonimi under the pa, Rantayara Papa Yarapa, Yaranda Rabro Sibre under the bay, Paye Papa Yarapa, Paye Papa Yarapa, Yaranda Rabe, Yamanda Rabro Sire under the bay, Rantayara Papa Yarapa, Yaranda Rabro Sibre under the bay, Lord, we possess the hidden treasures of the Gentiles, Lord, let Jack. Treasures of dark places, of secret places. Let it be, let it be given unto us. Let it be given unto us. We take it, we take it right now. In the name of Jesus, we possess them. We possess our possessions. Take what is yours. Rapaya the papaya the pa. Yamanda the rabe. Rapato ni mi andere the pa. Yamanda the papaya the pa. Yamanda the rabe kabo zebre andere the be. Take what is yours. Possess your possessions. Possess your possessions. Possessions, run tired of Find a strong man, find a strong man, and take what is yours. Run tired of power. You run that out of What is yours will not come to you. It will not come to you by chance. Tired of papa, you're a power. You run that out of power. You're under the proceeding under the bay. Rapato in me under the power. Run tired of power. You run that out of Bosi under the bay. Possess your possessions. Run tired of papa. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Tonight we want to bless the name of the Lord. We want to thank the Lord. We want to appreciate the Lord. We want to love the Lord. Amen. I believe that our Father has instructed us right to fast and pray at this time. Amen. For the Bible says at one time the, the children of Israel were faced with a fierce enemy. But then the prophet instructed that they bring up men and women. Amen. To sing songs of praise and worship unto the Lord. Amen. And as they did, the enemies turned against themselves. Amen. And they destroyed themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. So I believe that tonight as we sing songs, as we praise the Lord, as we worship the Lord, Indeed, we will see things turn around in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. One thing, one thing we ask of you, one thing, one thing that we desire, that as we worship, Lord, come and change. Let's sing again. One thing, 
One thing we ask of you, one thing, one thing that we desire, that as we worship, Lord, come and change. Oh, say, arise, 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 arise. Take your place, be and throw on a praise. King of kings, holy God, as we say. Take your place, take your place, be enthroned on our praises. King of kings, king of kings, yeah. As we say, take your place, be enthroned on our praises. King of kings, Lord of lords. Forever 
blood has covered my sins. I believe, I believe that is why I'm here tonight. Let's sing it again. I know he rescued my soul. Come and say. I know he rescued my soul. That is why we are here tonight. We have confidence. I believe my shame is taken away. Come and say. My shame is taken away. My pain is healed in his My name. Is you want to declare this? I believe. I believe. Hey, I believe. I believe. Now raise a Make some noise unto him. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to wave our hands unto the King of Kings tonight. We just want to say, Father, fill this room, fill this place. We bless your name. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Oh, much less love and beauty and less words. Say nothing in this world, nothing in this world can satisfy. I say, Jesus, Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love and beauty, endless words. Much less love and beauty. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that never. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you are merciful. In Redeemer of my past and present wrongs. Redeemer of my past and present wrongs. Hold around my future days to come, yeah. Hold around my future days. Let's sing it again. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. Declare, lift up your hands, wave your, wave your hands. Your presence, presence is all I need tonight. To me, yeah. Whoa. I need your presence. All I need today. To
Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All I need tonight, your presence is heaven. One more time. Oh, Jesus. Come on, lift up your voice. Let's sing together. Your presence is heaven. Oh, oh. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Your presence is all I need. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. Your joy is assured in his presence. So cry out for his presence tonight. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus will be the center of your life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, Lord, may Jesus be the center of my life. To the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. 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 Lift your hands unto God and say, Lord Jesus, fill me with your presence. Yes, Lord. Fill me with your glory. Fill me with your glory. Let me be influenced. Let me be by the sweet influences of the Holy the Spirit. Lord, I surrender, Lord I surrender my all to you. I surrender my heart to you. I surrender my emotions to you. Have your way in my life. All to Jesus I surrender. Have your way in my life. Come on, Luke. Commit yourself unto him. I say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender, Lord, I surrender my life, and I give it all to you. Say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender my everything. I surrender. I surrender, Lord. I surrender, Lord. I surrender my life, and I give it all to you. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, give God a hand of praise. Amen. We thank him for that opportunity to be gathered in his presence for our 14 days fasting and prayer. And any time that we fast, yokes are broken, chains are destroyed as well. We are on Instagram and uh, well, we are also on online radio, you know. So you can get in there and we want you to, we need you to subscribe. We need you to like the page. We need you to share, you know, everybody share. Amen. Share the link that is being given to, you know, you. Amen. And as you are doing that, you are causing somebody to receive a miracle. You are planting a seed in somebody's life. Great glory is coming unto you. Amen. Well, I want to pray for the presence of the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 1, verse number 1 and 2, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. That means that it became without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. And the Bible says, And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Hallelujah. And God said, let there be light. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. That means that the Spirit of God influenced things. And we are praying for the influence of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We are praying for the sweet influences of the Holy Spirit upon our lives, upon our businesses, upon our, our finances, upon our bodies, upon our marriages, upon our relationship, because the Bible says in Psalm 127, unless the Lord build a house, they labor in vain, that build it. And Jesus himself needed the Holy Spirit, so that in Luke 4, 18, he said, the Spirit of God is upon me, for he has anointed me, hallelujah, to preach the gospel. So you cannot do anything without the anointing, without the the, the release of the Holy Spirit, Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good. So whatever yeah. Jesus did was because of the Holy Ghost Amen. and power that was upon him. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray. Isaiah 10, 27. He said, in that day you shall do nothing, but he says that uh, it shall come to pass that his burden, his, the enemy's burden shall be taken away from your shoulder Amen. and his yoke from your neck. Why? Amen. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And so, so yokes are going to be destroyed right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so we're going to pray the sweet influence of the Holy Spirit upon us that with Isaiah chapter 11, verse number 2, as you lift your hands, uh, let's pray together. I say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I pray. I pray. As I... The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, even the sweet influence of the Holy Spirit, the sweet influence of the Holy Spirit, upon my life, upon my life, upon my intelligence, upon my, intelligence, upon, my upon my education, upon my education, upon my marriage, upon my marriage, upon my relationship, upon my relationship, upon my body, upon my body, upon my skills, upon my skills, upon my my business, upon my business, upon my finances, upon my finances. I pray the influence, I pray the influence of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that may the spirit of God the spirit of rest God upon me, rest upon me, and control my life. And control the my spirit life. of wisdom, the spirit of that wisdom, I know what to do. That I know what to at do. every point in time. At every the point spirit in of time, understanding, the spirit of understanding, how things should work. How things should the work. The spirit of counsel, the spirit of counsel, advice from your presence, advice from your the presence, spirit of might, the spirit of strength might, to do what I need to do, to do what I need the spirit to do. of knowledge, the spirit of information knowledge, from you, information from you, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. The, the, God the, Lord, the God factor. I pray. I pray. Saturate me saturate with your presence. With your presence. Saturate, saturate me with your anointing. With your anointing. Saturate, saturate, me with your saturate me with your miracles. Saturate me saturate with, the with the supernatural. Right now, right now as, I as I clap my hands, I pray, I pray Lord, Lord, every area of my life of that my needs life. your influence. May you influence me, May you influence me right, right me. now in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and talk to God. Rabbah, 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 Rabbah
Cataranda has Carabahanda Rabaha, Libra Calabahanda Rabahanda Rabahanda Rabaconda Rababa, Shabra Bacanda Labahanda Labahanda Rababa, Libra Basse Carababona Harababasha Carabahanda Lababa, Lima Rabashi Calabahanda Labahanda Lababoa, Riba Bacanda Labahanda 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 Carababa, Yema Shukanabona Rabasha Carababa, Mikorabona Labahanda Babona Harababona Barababa, in Arababana Marabe Carababa, Lima Shakarababa, Carababa, Carababa. Nabakara Bahala Kalababa, eh, 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 Kuno bara babu kara babu na bara baba 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 Pray that you be anointed. Pray that you be anointed. Pray that you be anointed. Pray that you will be anointed. That the anointing will break every yoke. Anointing will break break every yoke. Repita kara break kara banda break kara balanda break kara banda ba. Pray that you be empowered. You be empowered with the spirit of God. Jesus was anointed and empowered. That's why I was able to do good. May you be empowered and to do good. Be empowered to do what God has ordained for you to do. May you become empowered right now. Receive supernatural empowerment. The sweet influence of the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, influence me. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Oh, Shabahalaba, pray. Holy Spirit, saturate me. Saturate me with your presence. Saturate me with your power. Saturate me, Lord. Saturate me. Saturate me. I need your power. I need your presence. I need your presence. Saturate me. Saturate me. Saturate me. Saturate me, Lord. Saturate me. Saturate me with your presence, Lord. Saturate me with your power, Lord. Hey, the Holy Spirit, be my helper. Holy Spirit, be my helper. Oh, let me be inundated in your presence. Let me become inundated in your presence. Hey, Adahadaba Sekadaba. Iri bahada kada bahanda la baba. Ike de bati mani 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 mani. Hey, yara yara se de 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 I gotta have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, O Lord, today. It's a good song. Everybody join to sing. Let's sing and say. I gotta have more of your anointing. I gotta have more of your anointing in my Again, saturate me, Lord. Saturate me in your anointing. Saturate me. Saturate me in your presence. I gotta have. I gotta have more of your anointing in my life. 
Sing it for the last time as you lift your hand unto him and say, Saturate me, Lord. Saturate me, your anointing. Saturate me in your prayer. In my life. Saturate me, O oh Lord, today. Wow. Hallelujah. Well, give God a hand of praise. Luke chapter 1, verse 80. We are going to pray for grace for visibility. Someone say grace for visibility. We just prayed for the anointing. But see, being anointed is one thing. And then whatever grace and giftings you have to be exhibited or to be seen or to become visible to is another thing. Amen. The Bible says in Luke chapter 1, verse number 80, concerning John that the Baptist, that he stayed, the Bible says the child grew and walked strong in spirit. And he was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. So John remained in the wilderness <laughs> until the season of his appearing. He was in the wilderness. So you may be gifted, you may have a lot of things, there's, there's a, a limitation, you may be in the wilderness. You want to pray that the Lord now will show you forth. In Acts chapter 12, verse 5 to 10, you see that when, when Peter was put in prison and the church prayed, God sent an angel unto him. And the angel led him through the first gate and the second gate and now he stepped into the city. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray that. So you see that there is a gate that must open for you. For you to enter your city of glory. And we're going to pray that. May that gate be open. The gate that must open for the release of your breakthroughs. The release of, of your influence. The release of your fruitfulness. The release of your finances. Visibility to be seen. Some of you, somebody must see you and marry you. I mean you, as you are watching me. Can I have an amen? Somebody must see you and say you are very talented. Somebody must see you and say that I want to help you. I have some money, I have some $20,000 I want to dash to somebody. And may the person see you. May you become a visible candidate for, for, for you to be given that offer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can I have an amen? So we're going to pray that, Lord, may I become visible in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for the anointing for visibility that my gifting shall be shown forth. Amen. My beauty shall be shown forth. Amen. My ability shall be shown forth. Amen. My talent shall be shown forth. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Shaka that Allah. may my gates that leads to my next level yes, be open. Amen. The gates that must open Jesus. Eh, for me to my city. And the gates that must open for my influence to show be open. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus Lord, name. The gate Lord, the gate that leads to my next level. That leads to my next level. My gate of vis for my visibility to take place. For my visibility to be take open place. unto me now. Be open unto me in now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Gates. Gates. Be open. Be open. Gates. Gates. Be open. Be open. Gates. Gates. Be open. Be open. Now. Now. I pray. I pray for the grace. For the grace. And the anointing. And the anointing for visibility. For visibility to happen in my life. In, my life. in the name of Jesus, name of I, shall no more be I shall no more be limited. Every chain of limitation, Every chain of limitation. Break, now. break now. Every chain of limitation, chain of limitation. Break, now. Break, now. break 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 now. Say, I come out, I come out. From, every from every confinement. I shall no more be limited. No more be limited. In the name of Jesus, name of I shall not be restrained by any force of darkness. From my father's house, from my father's or my mother's house, house. I shall not be contained. I shall not be 
by the limitations of men, by the works of men, I break forth, break out, break through. I decree today that my life and my business break forth, break out, and break through to be seen, to be honored, to be appreciated, to be regarded in the name of Jesus. As I clap my hands, I move into my new territories of great glory. In the name of Jesus, I receive grace and advancement in every area of my life. Open your mouth and talk to God right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Sister, you are beautiful. You need to be seen. Brother, yes, you, you are talented. You are, your, your jobs are good, but some people must see it. You must be recommended. Pray that you will be recommended. Pray that you shall be seen in the halal. Yerebado se tereba haraba. Lemoro se dere na ria na la la la. E maria na la 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 ba. E mara la ni la la la. E mara la la she kala ria na la 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 la. E mama ni la le na ni la 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 se na la 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 le na la 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 le na la la la. E mane ara mane na ria la 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 la. E mane le le se ne le ha ni la la mane ya la la. Talk to God. Talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. Come on, talk to God and pray. May your business become visible. It has hidden for too long. May your ability be visible. May our church be visible. May our calling be visible. May our calling be visible. May the grace upon our life be visible. In the name of Jesus. Acts 12, 5 to 10. 5 to 10. Limadara basandaba. Or five to eleven, in Labahadaka, Labahalaba, Rabatekara, five to twelve, Labarabasha, Kalaba, Acts twelve, five to twelve, Labahalaba, Riba Kalabaha, the Badabade Kalababa, Emi Riba Se Kalababuni Labahalaba, E Bakaba Baba. May that your business be seen. May sponsors come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ebuna Shikarababa. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In 1 Chronicles chapter 10 verse 11, we see that certain men came to David in the cave of Adullam, bound themselves with a covenant to help him, that he must be king. God had ordained that David should become king. <laughs> but even though he had been ordained and had been anointed, to become, he was still in the, in, the, in the wilderness. He was in the caves. Till certain men came together. First Chronicles Chronicles. Oh, is that? No, look at Second and see. Second Chronicles. Shabaharaba. Uh, look at, is it 1110 or something? Look at for that scripture. The Bible says that they bound themselves to make David king according to the word of the Lord. They bound themselves, you know, they covenanted to help David. You see, no matter how great you are, your exploits are predicated on the people who stand by you. Is that right? People who stand by you determine what you are going to become. So we want to pray that may the people who must stand by you, may they come forth. Amen. Some people, they must give you contracts. There are people that when they come to you, is that right? Yeah. And because you know them, when they give you one contract, can build you a house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. One contract can build you a house. Yeah. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 38. He says that, and these men of war that could keep rank. Oh. This is another message altogether. 
I said, these men of what that could what keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel. Amen. Eh? And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. My God. Amen. Wow. They were one heart. That means that, you see, maybe there's a, a, a certain position in your office. But may God bunch people together instead of an opposition to your role that they will say that, no, this person must be given that office. Listen, this is a prophetic topic. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Maybe some boy wants to marry you. But some people can come together and say, no, 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 no. Yeah. Maybe when the guy, guy goes to take you to this house, then people say no. But when they take you to the house, may, may all people come with a perfect heart yeah. to make you to a make wife. Me. To make you a boss. Amen. To make me Amen. Amen. There's another scripture like that. He said, to make David king according to the word of the Lord. That is what I want. To make David. So there's a word of the Lord concerning your life. Ah. Amen. But I like this. This man of war. Look, look at it. First Chronicles 12, 38. This man of war, that could keep rank. Amen. May you have people who keep rank. Amen. Because if they don't know how to keep rank, yeah, and you, you see that they will come and worry you. They came with also a perfect heart. Pray that God will bring to you, number one, people who keep rank, number two, who will come to you with a perfect heart and to make you king over what God wants you to become king over. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Yeah. And, and, and the Chronicles one, look at it. Is it 12, 11, 10 or 12, whatever. I've read it before. I will, I'll check it for you. He says that they came to make David king. Try 12, 10 and see. They came to make David king according to the word of the Lord. According to the word of the Lord. Lift your hand and say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, you're not saying like you mean it. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I may be hiding now. I may be hiding now. In the cave of Adullam. In the cave of Abdullah. No, now watch it. Yes. First Chronicles 11, 10. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody this is prophetic topics. Prophetic topics. Yeah. He said, These also are the chief of the mighty men. Hey. <laughs> you see, there are people who are uh, key makers. <laughs> yeah. Whom David had, who strengthened themselves. Who did what? Strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom and with all Israel to make him king according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. There was, so, there's a word of the Lord concerning Israel well, that David was to be king. Are you getting me? Yes. Yeah, and the people strengthened themselves. So, may you have people on the shore of the Amen. 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 Can I have an amen? Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Say, Father. Father. All those. All those. You have ordained. You have ordained to be my helpers. To be my help. Let them come. Let them come from the east and the west. From the east and from the west. Let them strengthen themselves. Let them strengthen them with me. With me to make me king, to make me king, to cause me to sit, to cause me to sit in my position, in my position, according to the word of the Lord, according to the word of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord, I pray, I pray, whoever, whoever you have ordained, you have ordained to be my helper, to be my helper, let them come, let them come from the east, from the east, from the west, from the west, from the north, from the north, from the south, from the south. All those who have to stand by me, let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. I call them forth. I call them forth. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and talk to God right now. Oh, la bande ka la bande la ba. The husband, the wife that must come, the children that must come, the business that must come, whatever that must come, let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Talk to God right now. Talk to God right now. 
talk to the Lord right now. Yes, 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 yes. yes. There is a position for you. There is a job for you. There is an honor for you. There is a glory for you. There is something for you. You need to talk to God and say, Lord, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Let the people strengthen themselves. Yes. Bring to me. People will keep rank. People will keep rank. According to First Chronicles chapter 12. Yes. Verse 38. Bring to me. People will keep rank. People will keep rank. People will keep rank. And let them come with a perfect heart. Perfect heart. Perfect heart. Let them come with a perfect heart. To make me king. Hey. Let them come with one heart. In this church, let the people who come around. Let them be with one heart to God to stand by me and to support me. And to hold my hand. Pray that God will bring people to you who hold your hand. Like Moses had Aaron and had to hold his hand. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and say, Lord, bring me helpers to hold my hands. These are my hands. Who hold my hands? Bring me people with a perfect heart. Perfect heart. Who keep rank and who stand by me to strengthen themselves according to your word and to lift my hands and to become my helper. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, Son of the living God. Talk to God right now. Talk to him right now. Talk to him right now. Talk to him right now. Call on him right now. It's a prayer hearing God. Prayer answering God. Miracle working God. Liman de Libaha. Shibarabahe Kala. Libarabade Kala. Libarabade Kala. Libarabade Kala. Girabade Kenaba. Pray that God will call people to come together with a perfect heart to make you king according to the word of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, those ordained to help you, let them come from the east and the west, the north and the south. Let them come. To, let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Libaha. 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 Kabaha. Somebody who will help you to get a job. Somebody who will help you to get a passport. Somebody who will help you. Yes. Who introduce you. Get, may you get your introducers. 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 Ribada Zekadaba. Shabadaba. Kadabada. Rabadaha. Pray, you need the helpers. You need the helpers. You need the arrows and hands to lift up your hands. Bring to me people who keep rank. Those who keep rank. And come with a perfect heart. Libaha, Labaha, Karaba. Ribados, Arabade, Karabadea. Rababa, Kena, Rabaha, Rabaha. 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 Kena, Raba
In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, it's one thing for people to believe in you. You know, we pray that David had people who came around him. Is that right? Good. Because they believed in him. It's one thing for people to believe in you and another thing for them to stand by you and to bless you. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Some people can they believe in your talent, but they, they, they won't stand by you. And they won't bless you or to help you. But when you read Job chapter 42, verse 10 to 12, the Bible says that after God restored the captivity of Job, his friends also came and brought down bags of money unto him. <laughs> Let's read together. And the Lord, oh, I can't hear you want to. And the Lord, now, turn the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. May the Lord turn your captivity. Every form of captivity in any way you've been held in bondage, may that bondage be, be broken in Jesus' name. And Bible said, the Lord gave Job. May God give you twice as much as you had before and even more. And the verse number 11 says that, and there came unto him, let's read together, there came unto him all his brothers and sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintances before. You see, when he fell ill uh, or got into his calamity, they had forgotten about him. But this time when he prayed, thank God we are praying. Amen. When he prayed for his friend, instead of you see, his wife said, curse God and die. <laughs> Sometimes when you, do, in the, you go through some situation, you go get somebody who will bring you bad advice. Be careful in your moment of desperation, frustration, challenges and difficulties, who advises you, who speaks to you. Because when you are there, you, you, you can easily make a mistake. Especially your wife is advising you. If this God cares for you, why should you go through that? But he said, you talk like one of the foolish women. Because Job knew God. He said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Your Redeemer liveth. Amen. I see your Redeemer coming your way. Amen. The word Redeemer means what? One who buys you back from Satan's slave market. Yeah, redemption. To redeem something means to buy back. And Jesus bought us. God, God bought us. Using Jesus' blood as a, a spiritual currency. Amen. Amen. And so he, when he prayed, then came there unto him all his brothers and sisters. Your brothers and sisters are coming to you. Amen. And all they that had been of his acquaintances before his friends, mm. they ate bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that uh, but you you only read the scripture carefully you see that it's satan who brought the thing unto him you know and the bible says everybody read the last part uh, every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold wow i received my do it in a new living translation if you can find it because we are going to pray with it you see when you are praying you must understand the scripture New Living Translation. Then all his brothers and sisters 
and former friends. <laughs> yes, former friends. It means there are some friends who will neglect you. But a certain, a certain season will come when God will turn your captivity. Amen. Amen. Let's start from the 40, verse 10. Let's start from the verse 10. Yeah. They used to be praying. When Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes. Amen. May the Lord restore your fortune. Amen. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as before. Amen. May that become your portion. I receive it. And 11, then all his brothers, you see, after the Lord had done his own, so God is going to do something of his own. Amen. And after that, his brothers and sisters and former friends, they came and feasted with him in his home. Yes, your former friends too. And when they come, don't throw them away. <laughs> because, because of the blessing of the Lord, they consoled him and comforted him because of the trials that the Lord had brought against him. And each of them brought him a gift of money and a gold ring. Say my portion. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. Some version says that the gift there, well, some version say they brought him a bag of money. Yes. May, they bring, may people bring you bags of money. Amen. When they are coming, they are holding their money. They are, you see them, they are holding a bag. And you, and you will think that it contains a handkerchief and things. But it contains money they have gone to cash. It's not check. It's ba bags of money. Sack money. Sack money that they are bringing to you. So everybody comes and they come to your party or you come and celebrate you. And they bring it. Can I have an amen? Amen. Is that a blessing? Yeah. Each of them gave him some money and a gold. Hallelujah. Are you ready for us to pray? And the verse 12, verse 12, verse 12. So the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life, even more than in the beginning. So God is going to bless you ever than before. Amen. Whatever you thought you had, that you had lost, now your second half. I receive it. Your, your, your years ahead is going to get better. Amen. Why do I know that? Because Proverbs 4, 18 says, the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter. Do you believe in this scripture? Yes. Do you like this scripture? I love it. Do you want it to happen to you? Yes. Then lift your hands and say, Father. Father. Now, now, now put on, before I get there, look at Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. Sometimes it's good to get the scriptures together. Someone, the Lord turn again your captivity. Amen. 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 That it will become like a dream to you. Amen. You'll be there and then you'll see your car, edge your home, your shop, full of things. This one. Hey. Yeah. I called you a big loan. Loan husband. Loan wife. Loan whatever. Or G loan arm or G loan husband alone. I have my own business. You don't work for others. You have your own. I have my own. After you have worked for others for some time to gain experience, you have your own. Amen. You also become an employer. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Uh, when the Lord turned again our captivity, we're like them that dream. Then what happened? Verse number two. Verse number two. Psalm 126. In the name of Jesus.